came across an intriguing social media post recently where a creator demonstrated how AI tool could streamline data analysis. The video began with a scenario familiar to many professionals, hours of manually combing through spreadsheet, cross-checking values, and verifying calculations. Then with a click, the creator introduced an AI tool that transformed the tedious process into a seamless experience. The raw data was uploaded within minutes. The tool generated comprehensive error-free insights ready for action. As I watched, one quote came into my mind which said, artificial intelligence is not here to replace us, but to enhance our abilities, transforming tasks that were once complex into seamless processes. This sentiment perfectly captures the synergy between AI and professions like quantity surveying. In the realm of construction, where precision, speed, and accuracy are paramount, AI tools are revolutionized how quantity surveyors handle detailed tasks. With AI, this process becomes faster and more efficient, empowering quantity surveyors to focus on strategic decision making and adding value to projects. The post was not just a demonstration of technology, but a glance into the future. A future where AI complements our expertise, turning challenges into opportunities for growth and innovation. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we'll be exploring the role of artificial intelligence in the built environment. As a quantity surveyor, we are always looking for ways to enhance our productivity and precision. In today's fast-paced construction industry, staying ahead of the curve is essential. That's where artificial intelligence AI comes in. In this video, we will explore how AI can revolutionize some of the core tasks of quantity surveyors, such as taking off, preparing bills of quantities, and determining unit rate of each item of work measured. With all being said, let's dive into how AI is reshaping the future of our profession. So the first thing I'll be doing is to upload the file and come up with the prompt. So I'll be using a single file of um, a ground floor plan. So I'm going to come here and attach the drawing ground floor. So I'll wait for it to upload. So now I have my file. So I'm going to come up with a prompt. Okay, now I have my prompt. So I chat GBT, assuming you are a quantity surveyor with 10 years experience of the construction industry knowledge. Using the attached file, kindly take off for the substructural work items for the file and making assumptions when necessary. Present your outcome on the taking off sheet using the taking off sheet format and show workings. Take off for the following item of work under substructure. 1. Site clearance, trench excavation with a net depth of 0.8 meter, block working foundation with a height of 0.9 meters, fabric mesh as reinforcement for oversight concrete slab, and concrete floor slab is 0.15 tick. So press enter and let's see what we have. So the first thing the chat GPT does was to explain all the my taking off list, the five items I listed. And moving forward, this is a calculation of a site clearance 19.79 multiplied by 16.55. That's the total site area. Okay, excavation, trench excavation. First of all, this is the perimeter, this is the depth, and this is the width. Block work in foundation. So this is one of the problems we have with AI. Block work in foundation is measured in meter scope, but this is measured in meter cube. That's one of the problems. Fabric mesh, this is it and is measured in meter squared. So same thing as the site clearance. Concrete floor slab, the area multiplied by the thickness. Plus. So let's check the assumption. So site clearance considered the entire site area. Trench excavation is based on the net depth of 0.8 meter with, with an assumed width of 0.6 meter. Block work uses an assumed block thickness of 2 to 5 mm. Fabric mesh full slab slab coverage concrete floor slab thickness is 0.15 so moving forward let's try to correct charge bt that block working foundation is measured in square meter so it can do the calculation again so this is the point i have charge bt high charge bt block working foundation is measured in meter square and not meter cube you can ignore the thickness for the calculations and you did not show the working for each calculation so enter let's see what we have there so after requesting for the recalculation so this is what we have now so okay thank you for pointing that out let me recalculate the block working square meter and provide detailed working for each item site clearance the dimension so the length multiplied by the width trench excavation first of all define the perimeter and if you notice here the way we do our trench excavation is going to be the perimeter minus 40 that's the thickness 2 to 5 or 150 depending on the size of block we are using but here chat gpt has ignored that part that's not a problem so the volume equals to perimeter multiplied the width and the depth so there is an assumption of 0.6 meter instead of the 0.675 that we normally use so this is the assumption here and we have the depth 0.8 and this is the total quantity block work that we said is going to recalculate so the perimeter multiplied by the height we stated the height is 0.9 meter so we have 65.41 meters square fabric mesh is taking the length and the width of the whole site 
because we did not specify the area of our building so the thickness so the area of our fabric mesh multiplied by the thickness is 0.15 so now we have a table here so this is our table moving forward now so let's go to calculating unit rates for each of the item of work that has been taken off work. so now we'll be telling Chadibri to calculate the unit rate for each item of work so calculate the unit rate for all the items of work calculated earlier considering all the economic crisis in Nigeria so now we'll be calculating the unit rate of each item of work measured earlier so let's go by calculating the unit rate for all the items of work calculated earlier considering all the economic crisis in Nigeria can you give the outcome in a bill format ChatGPT, can you provide a detailed and comprehensive description of each item of work on the bill including mortar thickness concrete grid and mix ratio reinforcement sizes and so on. present your response in a bill or queue format so let's see what we have okay starting from here so bill of quantity project proposed luxury block of flat location here by Lagos State. The client name is Witted. Prepared by QS Tony. This is one of my previous work. Charge with as a country survey. Preliminaries all price include the effect of inflation on current economic conditions in Nigeria. Rate include 25% for profit and overhead as instructed. So this is our item. First one site clearance, clearing of site vegetation and debris using manual labor and mechanized equipment. So this is the total quantity, the unit, the rate, and the price. So number two trench excavation. So excavation trends to a depth of 0.8 and a width of 0.4 foundation for proper leveling and disposal of excavated materials so within 10 meter radius this is the price block work in foundation 2 to 5 thick hollow sand grid block with 1 ratio 6 cement sand mortar include a 10 mm mortar thickness and this is the price description of fabric mesh supply and laying of brc fabric mesh the code reinforcement for concrete slab this is the total quantity and this is the price and is measured in meter square so and the last one concrete floor slab concrete mix grade c25 slash 31 ratio 2 ratio 4 by volume concrete sand aggregate reinforced with brc mesh as specified above vibrated to ensure compassion and leveling so this is the total quantity and it is measured in meter cube and it is priced 45,000 per cubic meter so this is the total cost when you add everything together we have 3.5 million you add in vat 7.5 percent and this is the total price so we have a note on that unit rate assumption site level based on manual and mechanized I mean, so trench excavation 7,005 per meter cube includes excavation leveling and disposal block work 8000 per meter square including concrete block mortar and labor fabric mesh 1002 per meter square concrete 45000 per meter cube material assumption mortar thickness 10 mm for all joint concrete mix ratio by volume reinforcement so now let's consider a specific location in nigeria so let's take up Mosho as an example Mosho is in your state southwest nigeria so moving forward can you show the workings of how you calculated unit rate with all parameters used please focus on motion as the proposed project location and at 25 percent profit and overhead so let's see what we have now you can see the difference between lagos and Gumosha. this is okay, starting from this point and this is the calculation to which each of the unit rate is derived so daily cost equals to labor cost plus equipment cost and rate per meter square excluding profit so after this so we are calculating a 25 percent profit and overhead does also the same thing for all okay now finally let's try and compare the two together so we're telling chat gpt to compare the two bill of quantity and see and tell us the differences so finally chat gpt can you please compare the two locations and state your observations in a tabular form so let's see what we have okay so this is what we have at the end of the day so site clearance in lagos rate per unit is um 500 500 naira per meter square in obomo is 175 per meter square trench excavation in lagos is 7005 per meter cube and in obomo is 2005 per meter cube block work in lagos 8000 per meter square in obomo is 4543 per meter square the fabric mesh is 1200 and obomo is 1375 concrete floor slab 45000 per meter cube and in obomo is 66000 225 in Ubumosho it is 66,250 per meter kit. So these are the observations. The Ubumosho rate is lower due to reduced labor cost and smaller scale mechanization requirement and the absence of high equipment.
government higher charges typical in Lagos. Local cost and labor are significantly lower in Ogumosho, driven by cheaper local sand and cement delivery cost compared to Lagos. Mesh reinforcement is slightly costlier in Ogumosho due to longer transportation distances from major supplier and the rural demand base being smaller. The higher cost in Ogumosho reflects increased transportation cost for cement, aggregate and equipment as they are sourced from more distance location compared to Lagos. Key observations. Labor cost in Ogumosho is generally cheaper due to low living cost and wage expectation compared to Lagos. Material cost in Ogumosho, local material like sand and block are more affordable, while imported or factory made materials like fabric mesh and cement incur higher cost due to transportation. Equipment cost. Equipment higher charges are higher in Lagos due to more frequent use and maintenance of machinery in urban construction. In Ogumosho, reliance on manual labor reduces this cost. Transportation and logistics. Transportation cost in Ogumosho are higher for materials sourced from urban centers or factories, influencing items like concrete and reinforcement. Economic scale. Lagos benefit from higher economic of scale due to frequent construction activities which helps lower cost for poor procurement of material. So we've come to the end of our presentation today and you to think AI is going to replace us as quantities of your sooner or later or is going to replace those that are not moving through the trend? This is a question to ponder on. Until when next I will see you again. You're welcome. <laughs>